Okay, 1.2, uh, figurate numbers. Uh, figurate numbers are basically where we generalize a pattern with a formula. Okay, and then we use that formula to find some nth number in the sequence, okay? Uh, a good example to start out with uh, for figurate numbers is the special sum formula, which is credited, or a good story, uh, credited to this guy named Carl Friedrich Gauss, or the Gaussian formula. So if you see, use the method of Gauss to find the nth number, this is what you're going to use. And the story goes about uh, a few hundred years ago, when uh, he was a kid, long before calculators or any of that stuff, he was about six years old, and uh, he's very, very brilliant, uh, one of the top mathematicians of all time. And uh, when he was six, uh, he was in class, and the teacher was kind of fed up with him. You can imagine a six-year-old kid who's smarter than everybody um, uh, could just be a pain in your side. So uh, what the teacher said to try to, to kind of take up his time and keep him busy, he said, why don't you, hey, Carl, why don't you... Uh, you know, get a piece of paper there, and why don't you add up all the... Find the sum of the first 100 numbers, okay? Find the sum of the first 100 numbers. So here, uh, this uh, 100 would be our nth number, okay? 100 would be n. And at six years old, to show you the kind of talent this kid had, he didn't sit there and say, oh, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, and so on, all the way up till he added the 100th number. What he did was he said, look, I've got these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 100, counting backwards, 99, 98, and if I match the first and last, 1 and 100, I get this 101 idea. If I match up, or if I pair up the next one, 2, and 99, I still get 101. And if I match up 3 and 98, I still get 101. And so I've got all of these pairs of 101. And then all he said was, how many pairs do I have? Well, if I've got 100 numbers and I'm pairing them up, 100 divided by 2 is 50. I must have to just take 50 times 101. And he didn't have a calculator, but I'm going to use a calculator. 50 times 101. And he said, teacher, the answer is 5,050. And he did this in just a matter of uh, uh, a few minutes. And the teacher was just blown away. Uh, I don't know that any of us would come up with something like that. Uh, but you can see how uh, pairing these up, coming up with a strategy, rather than just adding them up by hand, uh, saves a lot of time. So this kid was pretty smart. Now what we're going to do in terms of our figure at numbers, what we're going to get into is we're going to, generalize the formula that he just did. Sorry, I didn't want to erase that. What he did, let's talk through what he did. Okay, he took all the numbers uh, and uh, he paired them up. 100 plus 1 was 101. 99 plus 2 is 101. 98 plus 3 is 101, which is our n, 100 plus 1. So this 101 is really just n plus 1. Okay, and then he took it times 50. Well, how did he get 50? Well, he took n, he said, I have 100 numbers, how many pairs? So he divided by 2, and he took n over 2, and he multiplied them. So he came up with this formula, n times n plus 1 over 2. So anytime you see special sum formula or Gauss, use the method of Gauss, this is the formula you want to use, n times n plus 1 over 2, and this is how it, it kind of develops, okay? Uh, another formula. Uh, what are the first n odd counting numbers? Well, let's look at the sum of the first n odd counting numbers. Well, the first odd counting number has a sum of 1. The first 2 gives us a sum of... Oh, sorry, 2 is not odd. I'm talking odd numbers here. The first two odd numbers are 1 plus 3 is 4. The f okay, so here n equals 1, and we get 1. When n equals 2, 1, 2 odds, we get 4. When we look at n equals 3, 1 plus 3 plus 5, we get 9. When we say n equals 4, we get 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, right? And we get 16. When n equals 5, the first 5 odd numbers, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, 
we get 25. And we can see there's some kind of correlation here. When n is 1, we get 1. When n is 2, we get 4. 3 to 9, 4 to 16, 5 to 25. We can predict that when n is 6, we should get 36. When n is 7, we should get 49. And to generalize this, we're taking n and we're just squaring it. So if you want to find the sum of the first n odd counting numbers, you just take however many counting numbers you want and square it. Okay, that's much faster than actually adding them all up. Okay? So what is the sum of the first five odd counting numbers? We would just take five squared and we would get 25. Okay? Formulas for other figurate numbers. Triangular numbers. I just use t sub n to say triangular for however many n's we want is n times n plus 1 over 2. This is actually the same formula as Gauss. Okay? Uh, meaning, if I the first triangle when n is 1 is not even a triangle, it's just a point. Okay? So I take 1 times 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. When n is... 2, now I have 2 times 2 plus 1 over 2, and we get 2 times 3 over 2 is 3. We get 1, 2, 3 points. Uh, when n is 3, and we're just kind of building this triangle, 1, 2, 3 at the base. Sorry, when I say n is 1, that's our base size. When n is 1, when n is 2, when n is 3, This is our triangle. We should end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I put it into my formula, 3 times 3 plus 1 over 2, we get 3 times 4 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, so that works, and so on. If n is 4, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 is my base. I should end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 4 times 4 plus 1 over 2, 4 times, oops, sorry, I think I'm missing one here, 2, 3, 4, 4 times, we should end up with 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, the one in the middle, sorry, you have to start filling in, uh, and we get 10, which would be 10 points, basically when you see triangular numbers, don't try to draw them, just uh, go ahead and punch them into the formula here. We'll see the same thing with square numbers. If we're talking about squares, we're just going to square it. Uh, when n equals 1, we just end up with 1 point. When n equals 2, we get a 2 by uh, 2, 2. See how it's squaring. When n equals 3, uh, we'd have 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, which would be 9 points. Okay, see the square idea here? Okay formula for square numbers is n squared and then our formula for pentagonal numbers which are very difficult to draw uh, is n times 3n minus 1 uh, all divided by 2 so if I asked you what's the seventh pentagonal number all you're gonna do my n is 7 so I'm gonna take 7 times 3 times 7 minus 1 over 2 close your parentheses there so I get 7 times 3 times 7 is 21, 21 minus 1 is 20, so 7 times 20 over 2 is uh, 70. We would have 70 dots in the 7th pentagonal. Okay, and the pentagonals look like this. Uh, if you were to make it bigger, uh, it would look like, let's see, I think that. Okay, difficult to draw. Don't try drawing them. Uh, just use the formulas. Okay, so those are figure it numbers. We're just going to use some formulas.